Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Stay from Coloring Bliss and welcome to a fun live event we have planned today. <laughs> we'll get it going. We are trying out a new um, way to live stream today and the reason we're trying it is because we are hoping to be able to get two camera views going one this angle so you can see me and cute little rose back here who's asleep oh yeah she's got her eyes shut i can tell <laughs> and then we'll have another view where you can see straight down on what i'm doing so hopefully we're getting it going i think we've been working on this for like two hours trying to get this camera set up <laughs> and steve and i are both like don't sneeze because the cameras might bump or move or the, the stream might fall apart. So hopefully this is going to work. If it doesn't work, if something um, stops running on YouTube's end or something, typically what we do is we try to jump right back on and start the stream back up again. So hopefully this will work. But it's kind of fun to be able to have a second camera so I can visit with you face to face and so you can see cute little rows. But the reason we're here today is for me to show off two new products that got sent to me so that I can share them with you. And they are by a new company called Castle Art Supplies. And this is one of the products right here. This is a 100 pack of gel pens that is so much fun. I actually couldn't wait any longer and I broke into them last night and started playing with them and it was a lot of fun. And so I can't wait to show you. We're going to, I, you know, I was really careful about what I opened up last night because I wanted it to be as fresh and unopened as possible, but I couldn't wait any longer. I had to try them. So I played with them and did a little swatching of all the gel pens and I only swatched a few of the colored pencils. This is the color pencil case right here. It's a set of 72. So we're going to dive into each of them. I'm hoping to spend about 30 minutes on each one. Um, we can either start with the gel pens or the color pencils. I think I'll let whoever is on here first vote. So if you're <laughs> here, you guys can speak up. Do you want me to go into color pencils first or gel pens first? And we can do that. I have some fun insider details straight from Castle Art Supplies. They have given me some... Um, kind of like what their plans are for their color pencils and some upcoming products that they have planned. It's pretty cool. So we're going to have some <coughs> fun and Steve is here hiding away from the camera. <laughs> <laughs> I told him it's not going to be long and I'm going to get you in front of the camera too. So for now it's just me and Rose. Oh, she pulled her head way down low. Maybe in a minute we'll get her to pull her head out and say hi to everybody. <laughs> so, But we are going to try this new setup and hopefully it will go smooth. See if it'll let me zoom in. Yeah, we're going to try Rosie. switching. Oh, zoom. we can zoom. Ooh. Oh, oh. Wow. now nice. you can see her fancy Whoops. bed. Got to come back out. Yeah, we got this really got cool bed out. on Amazon and she curls up in the tiniest little ball down inside. And oh, hey, Rosie. There she is. <laughs> Hi, little sweetheart. <laughs> I put her hair in pigtails last night. It's so cute. She already messed it up, but that's okay. She's a dog. She's allowed to mess up her hair. Anyways, she's so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like her. So. I'll come back out here. Okay. Do we have know. some people here? Yeah, or? we do. Okay. Oh, have a <clears throat> well, lots of people, lots of people saying hi. They love being able to see Rose. Good. Kayla says um, <laughs> she almost bought those yesterday. Oh, good. Ended we can... up with watercolor pencils instead. Yeah, they but... have all kinds of great product. Castle Art Supplies is a brand new company, and they really seem to be going the extra mile to try to do a good job. So that's kind of exciting to have a new company out there. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, I cut you off. <laughs> no, that's okay. Uh, yeah, gel pens, I think, is the... Oh, are they the, voting gel pens? Yeah, there's there's a few pencils, but we'll get to those. Yeah, but we've gel got pens plenty sure of time right here. So we're going to dive into gel pens then. Okay, I'll slide the color pencils to the side. And um, I have a official page that we use for reviewing color pencils. So this is all set up and ready to go for the color pencils. And I need to make um, a similar page for the for reviewing gel pens. I don't have one yet, so I just kind of hand made some notes to get us started and to help guide me through this review. 
and then I've also got my sketchbook ready and inside my sketchbook is where I did the swatching last night because I couldn't wait any longer oh, let me flip this open oh it's misbehaving just a second <laughs> My sketchbook is misbehaving here. There. Okay. That's weird. Why did it do that? Oh, master sketchbook builder. <laughs> see what oh, it yeah, did? Oh yeah, it's like it bent that last. I think I bent my sketchbook in my excitement to flip to the right page. I bent my book. I'll have to have my master sketchbook fixer fix it. Okay. Here we are. This is the awesome, I'll bring it up closer to the camera. And because of the way we got it set it up, set, set up here, this camera is just a wee bit off on angle. I apologize. We're going to get it set up just right. We'll get it. Okay, so these are all 100 of the pens swatched out onto white paper. This is my mixed media paper that I love so much. Um, and then I, I just taped down a piece of black paper here um, right before we started the live feed so that I can um, swatch some of them onto black paper and see how they behave. So this was really fun to do. Such a fun little doodle. Very simple, but look how pretty it turned out. It's a little piece of art. So you guys know me. I love to swatch. So this is all 100 colors right here. Um, the cool thing about this set is um, it comes with a really neat variety of different kinds of pens. So we get 28 glitter, 14 glitter neons, 6 swirls, 15 pastels, 16 plain neons, 4 classics, and 17 metallics. So it's kind of a cool mix. And then the other thing I was excited about is it came with a white. And not all sets I've been getting lately are coming with white. So have you guys noticed that? It's kind of like companies are sort of just giving up and not putting a white in at all. <laughs> so this set has a white. Now you get the cool packaging that I've seen before with um, Super Doodle had this similar packaging where it has the Velcro closure and then it opens up into the huge, long, big row of gel pens. So you can sort of set it up and, you know, be, make yourself a gel pen fort <laughs> and surround yourself in, in gel pen beauty. Um, but the great thing about this is I'm going to be able to organize and reorganize this any way I want. And if you have seen my um, Super Doodle review, what I did was I took this card out, flipped it over, and used it as a swatch, um, a swatch card. And once I got all the pens organized the way I wanted, I swatched the color for each and every pen on this card, and it works awesome. So we're going to be able to do that exact same thing here with this Castle Art set. So I want to open it up and show you a pen, show you what you would get here. We're going to open up this end here. And first thing I want to show you are the swirl pens. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get right under the camera. The camera's in a different position than I'm used to now, so look, my hands look all weird. Is that just me or do they look really weird? <laughs> They're just close to the lens. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this is what the pen looks like. And um, they have three different tip sizes inside this one package um, of 100 pens. So you get these swirl pens, well, there's six swirl pens. And the swirl ink, you can see how it changes in color. So that's really fun. I'll rotate the pen around and you can see all the different colors of ink inside one pen. Now these make it tricky for coloring, um, especially if you were really counting on that really pretty pink to come out. You're, you're going to get different tones coming out at different times. But it's also kind of fun because if you're coloring something like a mandala and you, um, 
you want to sort of embrace the chaos that might come out of this pen, then um, the swirls are fun for that. They're also really fun for note taking because you'll get all different colors coming out as you're writing notes. That's really fun. So if you're ever writing a letter, um, that these are really fun to grab. So um, the caps are relatively easy to get on and off which I appreciate. And they don't have a silicone grip or a rubbery grip on them, which can or can't be a problem. It kind of depends on you, whether you like them or not. Not all gel pens have the grip. Um, these ones don't. So this one here, let's see. She gave me, when she sent me the pens, she sent me all kinds of information. So let's look. Um, the tip size for this one is a 0.8 millimeter. So it's a nice like medium size tip. Let me see if I can bring it up and you can see that tip there. We'll compare it to the other one. All the glitters have a 1.00 millimeter tip, which is a really nice big tip. Um, you guys know me, I like the bigger the tip, the better, because it allows a lot of ink to flow out. With the kind of blending and work I do with gel pens, I like having a lot of ink come out so that I can smear and um, really blend good with my gel pens. So if it has a tiny little tip, um, it makes it difficult. But uh, let's see, it says that the classics that she um, that are in this pack, there's six of them, they have a smaller tip, 0.6 millimeter tip. And when I was swatching them, when the classics came up, I could totally tell that they had the smaller tip. And they would be great for tiny little details or line work. Let me find those classics. Flip By the way, Kelly's over. wondering how you're doing today. I'm doing okay. I took a shower. <laughs> we were talking about this on Instagram, how when, if you're chronically ill, showers are kind of a, a big event. <laughs> Um, they really wear you out. I, I think it's the physical work of a shower and it really wore me out today so it slowed me down but I'm good. I'm doing really good. <clears throat> Carolyn loves the snap closer sound. Makes her feel confident it's secured. Yeah I like it too. They're not going to spill. You can drop it into your art bag and take these with you and they're not going to spill around. So here is one of the classics and it's uh, this is the black one here. You can see I swatched the black and look at that pop. In fact, I liked the black so much. It was such a good black. I outlined the entire thing in the black It was so pretty. OK, so here's that smaller tip. I'm going to grab a glitter. I want you guys to see the difference in the tips. If you've never had um, different kinds of pens, I want you to see the difference. Look at me, I went for a purple. I didn't even think about it. I just grab a purple. <laughs> of course. Um, I'm such a purple girl. Okay. I'm gonna try to hold it real still. What whoa, whoa, where's the okay. Alright, so this one right here is your smaller tip. And so it's just going to naturally let less of the ink through than this tip. And look, I can't get it in. I'm just not used to the camera being in this position. There, that's better. So bigger tip, more ink comes through. Of course, that means you're going to go through this pen faster. But if you use some of the different techniques I use um, that I taught in that playlist here on my YouTube channel, then um, you won't waste the ink and it will last longer than you think. But these finer point tips are super great for tiny little details and they're super great for taking notes in meetings, that kind of thing. So um, it's not a waste to have these small tip pens, but they don't work as great for me for some of my blending techniques. So that's this pen here. Okay, now I wanted to... The other thing I always test with my gel pens, I love a gel pen that the cap seals really good. You get that good click, but I don't want it so much that you, it's a fight to get the, the caps on and off. And these do pretty good. Like you're getting a good click every time, but I don't feel like I need pliers to get my, the, my lids off. <laughs> so that's good. Okay, so here is our, it said it's six, no, four, four classics right here were the four classics. So these would be perfect, um, like for taking notes in class 
or at church or at a doctor's office or if your husband comes up to you and says I need a pen just to sign a check or something. A regular pen, honey. <laughs> he does that for me all the time. He says, honey, I just need a regular pen. And, and it's, sometimes it's, we can't find a regular pen in my house. It's so hilarious. Do you guys have that problem? <laughs> okay, so those are the four classics. Now, what I want to do is take every single pen out of these packages because... I want to line them all up and see all the pastels together, all the metallics together, and I want to show you how you can tell what is what. So let's switch the camera back down so I can show you the down view here. When you look straight down on your pens, the caps are your first clue of what's what here, and I hope the glare isn't going to be too bad. Maybe if I move this a little bit. Okay. So the clear caps typically are going to be your glitters, and when you pull them out, the next clue typically on these types of pens are the body is going to have a tiny bit of glitter in the plastic. I'm going to move that in the light and you'll be able to see, especially your pens at home, you'll see they have a little bit of glitter in the plastic of those pens of the body. So we're not looking at the ink inside, it's like the shell of the pen has a bit of glitter. And that's how you know you're holding a glitter pen in your hand. And then if you look at the other pens, these here that look almost pearlescent, these will be your metallics. So that's how you can tell you found your metallic set. So all this here, there should be, how many did they say? 17 metallics, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's awesome. They've got all 17 right here in a row for me. And then as I was working, like here, this one here, even the cap looks a little metallic-y. But I think it's one of the pastels. Rose pops her head up. Mom, what are you doing? Am I making too much noise? <laughs> sorry, Rose. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so this one I thought was a metallic, but it's actually, I think, part of their pastel line. So this one, I think, how many pastels did they say? We have 15 pastels. So if we count this as a pastel... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, how many? 15. So maybe that's a glitter. Let's pull it up. Oh, see, this was that weird one. Okay, this was a mystery. Are you guys ready to see something weird? Okay, we're going to do this right here. Okay, are you ready for weird, Steve? Yes. See how it's silver? So I don't know if it's metallic or not because it has that pearlescentness. But then when you look at the ink, look how it has sort of a greenish hue to the ink in the mm -hmm. barrel. And so when I swatched it, that's exactly what happens. You get sort of this green hint. And I'm going to do a nice big circle of it and we're going to hit it in the light and see if it feels metallic or flat like just a standard gel pen or are we in a glitter zone or what so I'm not too sure what this one is I think it's metallic oh yeah see I think we're metallic so is this just a bonus metallic with a greenish hue <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure on that one. Okay. Dorothy says she loves your laugh. It makes her happy just to Oh, hear. good. I'm glad. <laughs> oh, I can get pretty goofy and silly, especially when I'm tired. So how do you guys organize your gel pens? I go back and forth between all of my metallics together, which is what I'm going to pull out all these metallics. This is half the fun of gel pens, is having them all pulled out in a big pile. Do you guys do this? Pull them all out. Sometimes I organize them all by color. So whether it's metallic, 
glitter or pastel or neon, whatever it is, all the same colors will be together. So all the yellows are together. Sometimes I like them like that. I'm going to pull them all out. We're going to do a bunch of swatching, different colors and different styles and see which goes down good on black because that's kind of important to me. But we need to swatch um, all of them on black, metallic on black. We need to swatch pastels on black. All of them have different properties. The inks are made differently. So some of them are going to work well, hopefully, on black and some of them not so well. That's just the way they are. So we're going to find out. Hopefully. <laughs> so I'm going to put all the pastels together. Um, I'm, I'm thinking they count white as a pastel. So I'll put a pastel zone down over here. This is when I thought we could use those, um, that mug. This is that mystery greenish. I'm going to put that over here with the standard ones to keep it separate. And then we go into glitter land and these ones here I think are the glitter neons and the reason I'm going to think they're glitter neons is because you still get the clear cap like glitter but there's no glitter in the casing or the body of the pen. Let's see. Let's find out. Or are these just plain neon? And the way they're showing them differently is with a clear lid. Let's see. So this set... Dana says you're way more organized than her. Oh yeah? <laughs> I go through phases. And it kind of depends on the sets too. Okay, yeah, that's got glitter in it. Let me see if I can make it hit the light. You can see the big difference between a metallic and a glitter. Get it closer? I don't know. Whoa, whoa. I've got to get used to this new camera angle. I guess we're probably going to be changing there. I think I hit it for a second there. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. So these, I think, are the glitter neons, this set here. And it's really neat. We've got lots of purples. I've seen several yellows come up. Um, and then down in this land, we've got some browns, which that's really neat to have browns too. So I'm going to grab this cool little mug here and I just so I don't get confused. I'm going to put all the metallics. These are the ones we think are metallics in this mug. And I'm going to grab this mug and we're going to put all the ones I think are the pastels. I'm put them here. You know we should have messaged um, the representative from Castle Arts to tell them that we're here so they could pop on and answer some of our questions too. Mm. This, but all of our devices are busy um, filming things. <laughs> okay, yeah, aren't those pretty? I think gel pens are so pretty and so inspiring. So pretty. Okay. Now, oh, did you get me the other mug? Here's another one. Another mug. We gotta have all of my mugs going here. Okay, so I think these are the glitter neons. Okay, line up these really pretty pens. Okay, now we come down here and this is where we've got our standard glitters, which th she's, this says there's 28. So let's count and see. We put those back in there. It would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. And that's right because the next one next to it would be the swirls. So that's perfect. Yes. Okay, pull them all out. There's so many beautiful pens. So many. I'm so happy. <laughs> okay. Julie says her gel pens are in a tiered rack. Sits on table, takes too much space, hard to handle. This castle case is much more practical. Yeah, and um, you can organize and reorganize. And once you get them the way you like them, then let me show you what I was talking about with that swatching. See this little card right here? 
you can slide it right out. You can either cut a piece of paper um, exactly the right size. Oh, let me see. You can either cut a piece of paper the right size and put it back in there, or you just flip it over and it's white on the other side and draw lines for each, you know, 25 lines. So you have 25 sections and then do a little swatch right there. And then you'll always know exactly what color is sitting in your pack. It's so such a great way to organize these types of packs. Daisy asked, have you ever had that feeling when you lose a gel pen and you feel like your whole world is destroyed? <laughs> well, we went to a family reunion. Um, it was my mom and dad's 50th anniversary, and I brought um, a big set of gel pens because they were all, um, we were signing a big, um, no, that we were writing thank you notes and things we remembered about them over the last 50 years. And I don't know how many people were there. I think it was over 40 people yeah. or something. And so I was watching my pens go all different directions. And I was like, Jennifer, it's all right. Just let it go. You have all these gel pens at home. Even if you lose one, it's okay. But everybody was really good about it. And we got all the pens back except for one, like you said, <laughs> for one. And I was like, it's all right, Jennifer, that there's just one slot that's empty. You're, you're okay. It's okay. <laughs> We did eventually find the stray pen, but I know your feelings. <laughs> it's so funny how you're just like, you can't have just one gone. Okay, here's the six swirl. And um, they usually mark them. And I've had swirls before and they'll have like pink, orange, yellow, green, just like this. But you can't even count on that because the ink will come up. You, you know, you grab your green thinking, I'm going to have a, a green swirlish effect come out of this pen. And all you'll get is straight up pink or something for the longest time. So even though it says it's green, don't count on that. But these are still really fun to color with. So those are your six swirl. Really fun to have that. And then I think... What did we decide these were, Steve? <laughs> Have we figured out these ones yet? I don't know. Um, are these... No, they're not classic. They're not pastel. Uh, neon? 16 neon, it says. Okay. These look neon to me. I'm thinking... Because we have our metallics. We have our classics are over here. We have... I think there must be the neons because we already pulled the pastels out. And we already pulled the swirls out and the glitters. Yeah. Cool. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So these are the 16 neon. Nice. We did it. Deputy Dog Gunnett says. <laughs> I love that name. <laughs> <laughs> it's even worse is when you get partway through a coloring section and the pen decides to stop working. Yeah, that's happened to me too. And uh, Grace's coloring corner had to get a new set of gel pens because her old ones were scratchy and dried out. Oh, that will happen. These are a wet medium, medium, yeah, art medium. And so you got to be, you know, these aren't indestructible. Okay, taking care of gel pens. Don't drop your gel pens. It will cause bubbles in this little tube inside. And once you hit a bubble, you, you I don't know of any way to get to that ink that's beyond the bubble you create. So be really careful of these gel pens. Don't drop them. Um, so if you have little ones that you are going to hand them to, hand them a set that you don't care so much about. Um, once you take the cap off, you've exposed them to air, even though there's that nice little ball in there that's supposed to control that. You have exposed them to air and think of them as a, a you know, something that's going to eventually dry up. So don't be so precious with these that you don't, start coloring and use them. Dive in and start coloring. Um, the way I try to think of it is if I use up this pen, guess what? I get to buy another one. <laughs> so think of it that way. Dive in and make sure those caps are on. Click every time. Click those caps on and then they'll last longer. So... Kelly says that they can get those in the UK. <gasps> you can get the... Oh, you can. That's right. That was part of the information she sent me, which I think is on the computer here. Um, Castle Art Supplies is a new company. 
Um, let's see. She says, um, they're dedicated. I'm going to read what she told me about them. Okay. Oh, we're going to put it so, your, ah, yes. so that I'll you can like see. Right here. Oh, let's see. Now I have to look like I'm not reading a prompter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, she says it's run by a small, dedicated team of art and business professionals. Um, they're working really hard to make sure that their products are affordable and that they, um, they're they listening to our feedback, which um, she, I really think they are because the first thing she said is you're going to notice the color pencils don't have numbers on them, but we're working on it. You're going to notice um, that it's kind of hard to get the trays out of the color pencil tin, but we're working on it. And so I was like, oh, maybe they really are listening and they're not just somebody that's trying to sell off some products and make a quick buck on all of us colorists. So I'm, I'm thinking that these guys truly are going to try to stay around for a while and not just, um, like I said, trying to make a quick buck on all of us. So that's pretty cool. Um, currently they are selling primarily on Amazon UK and USA, which is a big deal for those of you in the UK, because I know a lot of the USA products you can't get outside on different Amazons. So wahoo for you guys in the UK. Um, they are also working on trying to get an e-commerce website up. Like I said, I think they might be around for the long haul, which is pretty cool. The more of these types of companies we can get up and supporting our, us colorists, the better, because they'll start competing, which means better products for us and better prices. So this is fantastic. And when I was looking at the current reviews on Amazon on their products, it's looking pretty good. So that's exciting. And I am I was pretty happy with these gel pens. The things I'm most impressed with this set are the price. It's only $15 for all 100 of these gel pens. That's amazing. And they're coming packaged really nice in this cool case. The second thing that I'm impressed by is um, the variety of pens that, you know, you get the swirl pens, you're getting a white pen, you're getting metallics, glitters, you're getting a little bit of everything you need in one set. Um, the other thing is, like I said, you're getting different size tips, which is kind of fun to experiment and try with. Um, if you've never had any gel pens, that makes this a really unique experience. You're going to be able to try a little bit of everything in one gel pen set. That's pretty cool. The colors, did I feel like they were super, I'm gonna flip the camera here. I don't know if I feel like the colors were super high pigmented. Um, they felt a little, um, like some of the colors were a little light pigmented. Um, but I don't know if you could get at this price range, I think you're gonna to have to go up into like the higher price range gel pens to get the super pops of color. Although in some of these neons, oh boy, look at those bright neons. You're getting a lot of pigment in those neons. So I think it's some are a little lightly pigmented. This is that really weird pen right here. That really weird one. It's <laughs> kind of cool. Yeah. So even some of the ones that I felt were a little flat and kind of, hmm, I wish that one was a little more poppy in color, you still will find a way to use them because gel pens are just in general awesome. So I, I, I find very few gel pens that I don't love. So, um, and like I said, look at that black, man, that's a gorgeous black. You guys know me. I like blacks that are true deep colored black. So that's a really good black. Okay. Um, let's see what else do I know for you? Um, there isn't any color names or color info on the pens, but that's pretty typical of gel pens. Um, there aren't any refills available yet, but because they are listening to us, I bet if we started asking them for it, we might be able to get them to start making sets that come with refills. So um, if you order them on Amazon, make sure you make a comment on there saying, we would love refills. Um, let's see. The As far as the caps matching the color inside the ink, it seemed really good. You know, pretty typical for gel pens. And the gel was flowing really good. Let's do a test right now so you can see. Uh, we're going to do it on here. I'm going to pick a random metallic pen. Oh, I've got a blue. Okay. Um, so the way I test gel pens is, um, first off, right out, first time you use a pen, does it start drawing your lines right away? When I was doing all of these dots, there were maybe five or six out of the all 100 that I had to work hard to get the ink to start flowing. That's pretty good. 
five or six out of all 100. I was impressed by that. So the other way is to draw a straight line. When you test your own gel pens at home, pick one up and just draw some straight lines. When you do that, what you should see is even awesome ink flow. You shouldn't see like straight line, blop of ink, straight line, blop of ink. That means that the pen tip isn't flowing correctly or the ink isn't flowing correctly. So you look at that, that metallic pen is flowing beautiful, straight, beautiful line, no stops, no blops. Hey, that was a good line. <laughs> no stops, no blops. Okay, so we're going to draw a little bit with that metallic on. I'm not gonna expect this to do much because it's a dark blue on the black. They like seeing you on camera. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad I had the energy to do this with Steve today. We're going to try a gold here again. This is the metallic. Now there's some blops. Let me show you what I mean by the blops. See how it goes straight, blop, straight, blop, straight, blop. So this one's struggling. So is that just one out of all 20 or is that all of them going to be that way? That's the kind of thing you test when you grab a set of gel pens. So let me scribble metallic on here. This gold. Um, some gel pens are not ever going to work good on a dark surface. That's that's normal for even high-end gel pens like Sakura, the really expensive ones. Some of them don't do good on um, black. It just is that way. Let me grab this orange pen and see how it does here too. Let's do these. Just don't play well on black. That's all right. Let's see if we get any stops or blops. It, that one flowed perfect. No blops. Okay, let's I think try. You like saying blops. Blop. It's kind of a fun word. Let's try. I think these are those um, neons. Let's see if we get any blops. Oh, one blop. We got a blop right there. Okay, now I've gone sort of southern, my accent. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize to all southerns. I, I have a, a very strong Utah accent, which I'm sure comes out. That yellow, we'll see as it dries, if it's going to show up. Can you guys see that on camera? Not really. Oh, can you zoom on that? Ooh, should we try? Yeah. Whoa. Oh. We've never been able to zoom before live oh, on. Oh, yeah. Oh, 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 sorry. oh whoa. <laughs> Stop. Let me see if I move my, my page up. Okay, let's try pastels because those I think are our best chance for looking good on black. <laughs> wow, we're really close. Sorry. Check out my fingers. Oh, it's like really delayed. <laughs> look at that. We're getting some results here on black. Now, will it dry? Look, as it's drying, though, it's disappearing. <laughs> That's happened before on other brands, too. You think, yes, it's going to work, and then as it dries, it just goes away. See? <laughs> I don't know why it does that. Isn't that funny? Okay, let's see how it does on here. I can't. Oh. There, let's see. there you go. Yeah. And That's now a you, good spot. Right there? Yeah. You can see both. Okay, good. Uh, a few little blops, but not bad. Um, I would rather have a bloppy pen than a pen that doesn't flow. You know what I mean? Like if you tried to draw a line and nothing came out, that would be horrible. So I'd rather have blops. Grace <laughs> says she likes how your nails match your ring. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here is sort of a tan, almost a skin tone. Yes, they gave us almost a skin tone color. It's a little dark, but isn't that cool? How many sets do we have that have sort of a skin tone? I don't know if I have very many that have a skin tone and it's not doing very well on there. Let's try the white. Oh, how will it do? Come on, be a good white. Sometimes I've noticed as I'm coloring with these, the inside core feels pretty loose and you can't really tighten it up. I don't know what's up with that. No, nope, it's kind of sad. Oh, that's all right. There's not many good whites in the world. Okay, we're gonna try a glitter. Uh, let's do a purple. How about a red violet-ish color? Okay, any blops? Nope, 
and look at that beautiful line. Let's see how it does on the black. Not going to show up. These are very interesting what they're doing here. Let's see how this black does. Look at that. No blops. The glitters. I don't know what it is about glitter gel pens, but they seem to be usually the best. Have you guys noticed that? Look, that one's showing up. Dana was asking if your nails were from the Kiss collection. Yeah, they are. Um, they're more the plasticky ones, and they're starting to die. Like, oh, uh, we're kind of getting off topic. Maybe yeah. you can't see. But it's all dented up, this one is. <laughs> uh, how far in are we? I said we would go at least 30 minutes on the gel pens, and then we would shift over to... 40 minutes. Yeah. That's probably good. Okay, and then this is a classic here. This is that smaller tip. Let's see how it does. Look, no blops. Poor Kelly and Janelle are having migraines today. Oh, That's I'm so sorry. Cool. I need a migraine support group. Here's a classic. Let's see if it's going to show up. Now... Okay, really the best ones I've found so far for showing up on black are the Sakura Moonlight. I think yeah. that's the ones. They were made for that, weren't they? Yeah. Let me show you what the swirls do. In case you've never had a swirl pen. Jean says she usually does circles. Like the lines to check, you know? Yeah, swirl. that's a good way to do it. See, it's staying. This was a green cap. And it's coming out pink. So, like I said, you you don't really know what you're going to get when you do the swirl pens. It's kind of fun. And it can be really fun to color something um, like a mandala with these or flowers. It's very pastel and soft colors. It's neat. And I'll pan down to the black so you can see what they're doing. I'll try to catch the light. Some of them did better than others. That's the white right there. Or no, that was the silver. That silver liked the black. Okay, so let's fill out the last few questions on my little questionnaire here, and then we can move on to the Castle Art Supplies color pencils. Janelle says this is a migraine supporter. Oh, it's true. <laughs> there are a lot of us here that totally understand. We feel for you. Deputy dog on it says <laughs> just gotta say it you way. like saying it like that don't you <laughs> <laughs> says this doesn't always work but i found that if you very lightly scuff the paper with an emery board or even just an eraser it sometimes helps the color short oh that's a good tip okay gel let's see the caps and the exterior match the gel color i'm gonna say yes i've been impressed by that gel flow is good well, as I try to write the, the letter G, look, it stopped flowing. Let's keep going and see how it does. Pretty good. So I'll say good um, minor issues. Caps easy to use. I'm going to say yes. For gel pens, they're doing really good. Comfort of pen. Um, these pens, they have a little ridge right here. Um, I've had a pen with this body style before and they have a little ridge right here that bothers me. Um, it's a little bit rough and sharp right here. So I'm going to put, um, what's a good word for average? Is average? Yeah, <laughs> average is a good word Okay, I'm going to put average. They're not super comfortable, but they're not horrible. Like, I'd, it, this wouldn't stop me from using the pens. Um, unique features, um, so many different types in one set. I really like that. I think that's really fun. This would be a good like beginner um, to give to some kids or something. Like maybe if you wanted to donate some pens to a school for them to try coloring with gel pens. Oh, or like a Maybe uh, if you had a, a cancer um, treatment center that you wanted to donate some su coloring supplies to, this would be a really good gel pen set to count to um, donate to places like that or like um, 
a senior citizen center or somewhere like that, this would be a really good set to donate because they get a little bit of everything to play with and experiment with. This would be a good set for that. Weren't they only about fifteen dollars US? Uh, on Amazon? Yeah, fifteen US. So what is that per pen, Stephen, my math oh. man? Oh, that fifteen cents is that? Oh well, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's not a hard math problem. <laughs> is, is that? Yeah, because fifteen and you move the decimal <laughs> no, no, two times me. over, that's fifteen <laughs> cents of the end. <laughs> I'm going to turn red now because that embarrassed Rinse. me that oh, I can't remember. Okay. <laughs> okay so I'll take it off of you there. Oh, yes. yes. Okay. Visible on black. I'm just going to put no. Um, the glitter was visible, but not the color. So um, glitter, yes. Glitter, yes. But not colors. Okay. Overall impression, um, good average set. awesome price and I really am excited to see um, hopefully if we give them some really good feedback about what we want more from them and um, what we like and don't like about their pens I'm excited to see what they come up with for us going forward because they seem like a company that will listen to us especially you know if we put our money towards them and they'll be like yeah we'll give you what you want <laughs> So, okay, so I put a link in our video description so that you can follow it and go check out these pens. And I do have an entire video playlist dedicated to all my coloring techniques for gel pens because I love to color with gel pens. So go check that out if you want to learn more about that. But the next part of this live video event is going to be dedicated to their set of color pencils. And it's got, I think, um, four and a half star review um, on Amazon. And I think over like 300 different people have already reviewed it on Amazon. So that's pretty impressive. People are pretty ruthless on Amazon. So I was impressed by that. So I'm going to, for the next minute or so, clean up my gel pens. I kind of made a mess here, but I'm going to reorganize them all before I put them back in the package so they're more aligned with how I color. So I wanted them all out anyway. Someone did ask earlier what these oh, mugs were. Oh, these big mugs, I think they yeah, came from Dollar Tree. Um, actually, I think they were a gift. Um, from my sister for one Christmas. She gave us like everything to make hot chocolate in them. And I stole them for my art studio because I love glass type things in my art studio. But I think she got them from Dollar Tree because I've seen them at Dollar Tree before. So I love putting pretty art supplies in glass. Art supplies are my decoration in my art studio. When I finally get to filming my art studio, you'll see that I decorate with art supplies. Um, so. That's why I love glass, so. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up here, so bear with me for a minute while I clean up and get all these supplies out of the way. You guys can ask some questions while I'm cleaning up that are maybe off topic. Let's see, Dana asked, um, are these the same pens you get at Costco? They look like they're almost the exact same ones. They were $20 for 100 Yeah, the ones at Costco are by Gel Rider, usually, um, but not always. I've seen other brands at Costco, um, but typically the ones at Costco are Gel Rider, and they have a bit of a different body. They have a little bit of a grip. Um, they're fantastic too. Those are a great brand. Um, they are a good friend of um, this channel. They have sent us free products to give away in the past, and I've been thinking about contacting them again. Um, because I've noticed they have some new products, so maybe we'll have to put a little bug in their ear, Steve, <laughs> and see if they'll send us some things to do giveaways. So, yeah, I think these two look different enough that I can put them together in here, and I'll be able to sort that out later. Jean right. asked, do you have a set of foam sleeves for pencils? They might go on these. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they would, but then they wouldn't go back into that, um, into this. Lori asked, do you store yours upside down? Uh, with gel pens, it doesn't really matter whether you, this is a big debate. Uh, I, I store all my gel pens flat is how I've decided to do it. Um, 
Most gel pen companies say it doesn't matter whether you do it flat or tip down or tip up. I've decided either to do it tip down or flat is the best for gel pens. So um, I try to keep all my gel pens flat. And I think the reason I decided that was because I read from a couple different companies that flat was best. But some companies will say tip down is best. But I think I read more companies said flat was best. So I decided to err on that side to go flat. The other reason I decided to go flat was sometimes when I've done tip down, um, I've had a pen fail and it will burst and the ink gets everywhere. And so if they're stored flat, the ink doesn't travel as far <laughs> as when it's stored tip down. If you get my drift, less to clean up. So, oh, sorry, I'm just gonna reach right over you. I feel so rude. Okay, uh, gotta make room for these beautiful color pencils. You guys know I'm kind of picky when it comes to my color pencils. Not kind of picky. I'm really picky when it comes to my color pencils. So when I agree to do a color pencil review, um, I kind of worry that I will get the set and not like them. And then will I have to be mean on the review, you know? So um, when I got these color pencils, um, when I get any color pencils, I get a little nervous because I don't like being mean. I want to be nice, but I also want to be honest so you guys will know exactly how I feel about things so you don't waste your money. So um, you can always trust my reviews that I'm always going to be honest, um, but I always try not to be mean either. Um, so when I got these color pencils, I was a little worried that um, they wouldn't be a uh, high enough quality that I could recommend them. Now they come in at $23 for this set of 72 and they came in a metallic tin, which I really love a set that comes in a metallic tin. And she warned me that they're having issues with the plastic um, trays inside the tin. They're a little hard to get in and out. And I agree. They're a little hard to get in and out. I think the tins, maybe they should have been in a little slightly bigger. No, the plastic trays should have been in a slightly bigger tin. I think that's the problem because in general, let me show you, I'm going to flip the camera. Okay. <laughs> you got to be stronger than the tin. Okay. So this is the, the way it comes. You get a little um, card here that invites you to join their art club. It's called the Castle Club, which I think is quite clever, um, with chances to win art supplies and coupons and all kinds of stuff. So that's pretty neat. Like I said, I get the feeling they're kind of around for the long haul. Um, I'm going to interrupt <laughs> you really quick. I'm sure. going to go get dinner. Carter's going to take over for me. No way. Yes. And you're going to go get dinner? Yes. What are you getting me? Oh, we should have put it up here. What are you getting me? <laughs> <laughs> the usual from Costa Vida. The probably. usual. We usually get um, salads from Costa Vida. <laughs> That's our fancy dinner on the weekends. <laughs> yes. Okay. So Carter's going to come and read comments. Right. Are you up to it, Carter? Sure. Come on in here, Carter. This is Carter. He is my 13-year-old awesome son. He is really awesome he did this really cool drawing the other day that i was like whoa maybe he's got the art bug we'll see he shakes his head no <laughs> <laughs> come on in here carter steve will show you what to do while i am chatting about these pencils here okay julie asked um oh would love to know where you got rosa's cozy bed do you recall the <gasps> isn't this awesome hey rosie say hi Poke your head up and say hi. <laughs> um, we'll find the link and stick it in the video description later. Um, the problem with where we got this is it took like a month, a month, yeah. a month to get it. And um, so I don't know if it like came, like they sewed it the day I ordered it. And then it took a month to go on the ocean to get to us. <laughs> But she loves it, and it's really thick here and then higher on the back, so she can stick her little nose up on the edge when she wants to. And But I keep this room super cold, and I was worried that she would be cold in here. 
I have to keep it cold because my body is so wackadoodle. And so I wanted her to be warm and that's why I got this one. So we'll find the link. We did order it on Amazon, but I don't want to like give it a raving review because the shipping was so strange. We almost canceled the order. So, but I love it. She loves it. Super loves it. So that's cool. Okay. So back to castle art. Um, like I said, um, they seem to be really out to set up a coloring community, an art community. And so that's what makes me feel like I think they're going to be around for a while. Um, mm -hmm. And then when she sent me the pencils, she was straight up honest about the issues they're having with the pencils. And um, I thought that was pretty cool that she didn't like hide the issues they were having. Um, I'm really impressed with that. Um, uh, when a company is like, these are great, except for the following things that we're having trouble with. I was like, wow, to honesty, that's, that's unique. <laughs> so the issues she talked about was... Um, First of all, the case and the fact that it's hard to get the trays out, and it really is. They have a little finger holes right here. Do you see Carter? Carter's here, buddy. <laughs> um, can, I, can I go turn my computer off? Please? Yeah, go ahead and turn your computer off. He'll be right back. So they have little finger holes right here that are too small for my fingers. I don't have really big fingers, you know, and I can't get my fingers down into the holes, but once you do get it lifted, you can pull them out. And there's another tray below that's even harder now to get your finger in there, but you can get it out. And I think there's that one, I don't know. Oh, see, I think my fake nail just kind of got pulled off. So beware if you're wearing fake nails like me. <laughs> Let's see, maybe if I use a pen to lift that one up. Okay, so there, now I got all three trays out. So that is a problem. They're aware of it, they, and they're working on it. So maybe the next time they have these ordered up. But I kind of get the feeling that the tray is just a little too big for the case. So that's the only issue. They just need a bigger case. Um, it's wobbly and wonky, uh, but that's the same as when you buy your Prismacolors. Their plastic tray is wobbly and wonky, too. Uh, I think it's just the way they do it. Um, I would rather have a company invest their money in a good pencil than in a good case, to be honest with you. I've brought in pencils before that all the money you can totally tell has been invested in a superior case and then they have um, really cut corners on the pencils and that's totally backwards to what it should be if I want a good case for the pencils I'll go get a good case give me a good tool that's what I'm here for if I'm coming to you to buy pencils I want good pencils I'm sure you guys will agree with that um, and when Carter comes back he'll read and see if you guys agree with that um, now, if they're advertising a superior case and superior pencils, then both better be superior, right? So this is the case, the tin case you get, um, and then you get three trays of pencils for a total of 72 pencils. The other issue that they, she wanted me to know that they are already aware of and they're working on is the pencils don't have names or numbers on them. And you guys know that is a pet peeve of mine. Even Carter knows that's one of my pet peeves, huh? Um, the camera is kind of bright. Like oh, it's be because of the there. Light. Is that better? This is the one to look at here, I think. Yeah. Okay. So do you know where to read the yeah. comments there? Okay. So I asked them if they agree with me that they should focus their efforts on good pencils and not necessarily good cases. So see if what they say to that. Have you done a review on Priz or Farben colored pencils? Where? You can point to it if you want. I don't know that. Oh, have I? Carter, can you ask your mom if she's done a review on shripper <laughs> farben color pencils no i haven't and when i do i'm gonna have to learn how to say that name <laughs> okay so you can kind of read and if you see a question you think you want to um you can like raise your hand or something so i'll stop and look at you okay 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 so these pencils don't have any um names or numbers on it 
They know that's a problem and that we want names and numbers on it. So she told me that they are coming out with a new set of 120 pencils. I wrote that down right here. A future set of 120 pencils that will have numbers. Woohoo! So they've already listened to people's feedback and are working on fixing that issue. Hopefully it'll have a better case too. So you've got a nice pencil with black paint here. The color of the um, core is right here. It's got a closed cap on, oh, let me see if I can get it out of the glare. Mm, but it's got a closed cap on it right there, which um, I have, I don't know if I like the closed cap pencils or not. You can't see if the core is centered when they close the cap like that. Um, she said, I can't remember the name of the wood. Um, and Steve closed that window, I think. Let me see if I can find that window. Um, say, whatever, how you say that is the next coloring pencil set they're going to think of buying. Oh. oh, okay. I'll have to look into it. Maybe you can, um, we're going to lose that comment here on YouTube. So maybe you could send it, um, the name of that to support at coloringbliss.com so I can look it up too. That would be helpful. Okay, she said the pencils themselves are made from basswood, B-A-S-S -S wood. It's a lightweight hardwood that is excellent for pencil casings. Um, they picked it because it's a fine grain wood to make it easier to sharpen. So we're going to do some sharpening here and test that out. Okay, let me go back, Carter, so you can see what's going on here. Uh-oh. It's do you know where it was? There, I found it for you. Okay. All right. So the other thing that I thought was strange is the this is the order the pencils were in when they when I opened it up. I didn't change the order at all. And they're kind of just all over the place. <laughs> so that's a little odd. So I didn't rearrange these pencils at all when I was playing with them. Um, I just, I thought that was a little odd that they are just everywhere in here. No rhyme or reason at all to their um, layout. Don't you think that's a little odd, Carter? <laughs> He's reading the comments and I'm trying to ask him a question. Okay, um, let's see. She said that the core is a wax-based core and they were very um, particular about picking the wax base they felt like they could get a better product for the money if they stuck with a wax base core with a better vivid colors and that it's a three point millimeter um, core which is a big core that's pretty cool let's see if I can get that up so you can see it good there's the three point millimeter core um let's see what else and then she said it has an a8 quality color lead when I asked about light fast info I'm not sure what that um, score means so if anybody knows what that means you can ask or you can tell me um, another thing I look at is does the pencil exterior match the color when you color it out it's not super accurate but not too bad uh, I've seen worse um, always I recommend that you either swatch all your pencils or look at the tip. That's usually the best way to see what color you're going to get when you start coloring. Um, are there any questions I can answer before we start doing some more tests and stuff? I'm asking if you've reviewed Artesia coloring pencils. The Artesia ones, not yet. I do have um, them in my wish list though. I'm really curious about those ones. You're so. saying that they're good and that those Rare farben are good. Oh, that so. that weird one that yeah. we can't pronounce. Okay, well make sure you sent that that one to me because I haven't looked that one up yet. So these are the samples that I was coloring the other night when I couldn't wait any longer and had to try these pencils. <laughs> and like I said, I was a little nervous because I'm super picky about my color pencils, and I I wanted to be able to. Um, I want to be very honest with you guys, uh, but I don't want to be mean to um, companies' pencils. <laughs> uh, but look at how pretty. And I didn't work hard at this at all. And look how pretty those blends are. And look how pigmented. Like, that's super impressive to me. This is my color pencil paper. So remember, 
the kind of paper you're on always makes a big difference. If you want to learn more about paper, there are videos here on my YouTube channel. You can come to my website. I've got paper you can purchase from me. Um, we can talk about paper another day. We're here to talk about the pencils, but paper does make a difference. So I'm on the best paper that I have to give them the best advantage. But look at that. These are two color blends. Each one of them is a two color blend. And isn't that impressive? Aren't you guys impressed? <laughs> That's pretty good. So this set is $23 and these are the colors we're getting out of them. It's pretty impressive. Uh, we're going to do some coloring right now and you can see how pretty they are. So this was the tray I was working on. I want to test the black and I haven't tested the black. I haven't tested the white yet. So let's do that right away. First thing here. Okay. Are there any other questions, Carter, while I'm setting up to test the black? Um, Ooh, we could zoom in while we test the I black. I don't know if they tried to spell your name, but they said I have to use color at pencils. I'm trying someone else. I don't know. Oh yeah, the color at pencils. I have the color at pencils. I have the color at gel pens, and I have the color at uh, markers as well. And I need to do, uh, I think we're going to do a similar review like we're doing right now on those um, three products. Um, let's see. Let's try the white on here and see how it does. So this is the white. Um, and they have awesome um, packaging. I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing here. There. The Color It products have some of the most spectacular packaging I have ever seen. Um, their color pencils are, are decent. They're not my favorite, to be honest with you. Um, but they do have some good points to them. So I'm excited to do this kind of review for you guys so you can see them and see what I like and what I'm not a huge fan of either so okay this is how the white goes down on um, the castle from the castle art pencil it's pretty it looks like a pretty standard not super impressive white um, you guys know I have an entire video dedicated to white pencils so that's how the white looks. Um, let me show you it comparison wise. I don't think I have a Prismacolor white handy. I have a Faber-Castell Polychromos white handy. So you can see the difference. That's a Polychromos white. Which isn't hugely different. I didn't spell Polychromos right, but that's okay. You get the day. You get it. Okay, so that's that. Let's try the black. And we're going to taste the black right here. And I am going to go in and really try. Let's zoom it in a little bit more here. I'm going to try to really... Wow, that was some super zooming. Oh my. I guess we could leave it right there. <laughs> okay. Let's try that much. Whoa, my finger looks massive. Carter, I have a giant finger. <laughs> okay, now I have had some sets of pencils where the black is just not black. Have you guys seen that? That drives me crazy. There's not very many times when I need a black color pencil. But when I want black, I want black. What else are they saying, Carter? Um, not much. <laughs> okay. That's okay. It said that the white is okay on black. Yeah, it says it's about typical, especially when you go watch that video I have all about whites. You'll see it's, it looks pretty typical of whites. Okay, that looks pretty good for a black. I'd say that's a good black. I would be happy with that black if I grabbed it. That's the garage door there. That woke Rose up. Look, Rose woke up. Did you hear the garage? She's wondering why she didn't get to go, huh? <laughs> 
Okay, there's our black. Let's test some erasing now while we're here in this zoomed in motion here. I'm going to grab, I can't remember what color we usually used on these reviews for erasing. I think it was a brown. Do you remember, Carter? But look at that. I'm doing light pressure, maybe slightly medium pressure here. They ask, do you offer this test page for your premium members to download? It would be... I would love to try doing all my pencils on a test page. You know, we haven't in the past, but I think I'm getting closer to being ready to offer this page. Um, so I'll talk to Steve about it and we'll see. If we do offer it, it will be for premium members for sure. Someone just... Someone's at the door. Someone just rang our doorbell. Should I go see? Uh, go check and see. <laughs> We're a busy house all of a sudden. Okay, we're going to test this with my, um, I'll put it right here. This is my Factice Black 18 eraser that I like to use for color pencils. That's what we're going to test it with. I'm so zoomed in, it feels weird. Okay, I'm just going to go back and forth straight up the middle here and see how it does. Um, color pencil never really erases superbly. But I like to be able to erase some, so if I make a mistake, I can get some of it away and um, maybe even create a highlight, you know. So that's what the Black Factice 18 eraser did. That's pretty good. Okay, let's zoom back out. That's just crazy. Oh, oh, what is it, Rose? Did you hear something? You need to go check it out, don't you? Oh, 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 okay. Go do it. Yes. Oh, that was so exciting. <laughs> okay, let's do another test here. We're going to do a three color blend using Jennifer's rule of blending thirds and see how it does. Who was it? It was like some salesperson. Some selling. A salesperson? Oh, yeah. I'm glad you're not answering it then. We don't need to answer that. Okay, we're going to do, it says to use yellow, orange, and red. Thanks for checking, Carter. Okay. Is Rose back? Yes, do you need to go? Does she need to get back up here? <laughs> okay. Come here. Oh, oh, okay. Get back in your spot. There. <laughs> Is everything okay? Everything's okay. Very good. <laughs> wow. It's a good thing you're here, you know, to protect us from from things like doorbells. <laughs> You're gonna get all organized again while I'm trying to find a good yellow, orange, and red. Larg asked, what's in your salad? In my salad <laughs> that we're getting? It's from Costa Vida, uh, which is uh, like, uh, there's Cafe Rio and there's Costa Vida. They're like pretty much the same, those two companies. Shh, don't tell them I said that. Um, <laughs> there, those three look good. Okay. Um, it's like, I don't get beans on mine cause my, I have sort of irritable bowel syndrome ever so often. So I don't want to irritate that. So it has like rice on the bottom and then lettuce and, um, guacamole. And, um, I usually get the it's like this really good steak on it and it has like a big tortilla and what else does it have on it Carter like lime and uh, all kinds of veggies on it and then it has um, a really good like tomatillo dressing green creamy tomatillo dressing that you put on the top so it's really good and it usually it's a big thing and I have such a strange appetite, so it usually lasts me like three, I have to eat small meals throughout the day and then into the night because I'm up like halfway into the night, so it usually lasts me three to four of my small meals. So one salad, it's quite a good value for me because it'll last me three to four of my weird meals. So <laughs> that's my salad. <laughs> that's the dinner that's coming. <laughs> Okay. So I asked who has tried Black Widow pencils. Guess what, you guys? They are on the way. I finally, I have been searching 
I'm so excited because I had been searching for um, a contact, a way to contact them, Black Widow. And I could not find a way because you guys have been wanting me to um, review and try Black Widow pencils. And I finally found it. And I don't know how long it took me to find a way to talk to them. But I found it. And he was so excited to have me review his pencils. So they are on the way. I think they're going to arrive next week sometime. And then we get to do a review just like this. What we're doing right now, we're going to do with all three of their, of his sets of pencils. The Black Widow, Widow the Scorpion, and the Cobra. All three are coming. And he's also going to send me some insider information because um, he gets the same kind of questions all the time about his pencils. So he's going to send me some insider info to share with you guys about his brand of pencils too. Oh, they asked, are the pencils buttery soft? Um, these ones go down really good. They're not as soft as Prismacolor. They're a little, the core is a little um, harder, which is nice if you are heavy handed with your pencils. Um, I think the reason why people complain so much about Prismacolor pencils is because they're so soft core. People are also saying that the electric erasers are good. I've been wanting to try one of those. What brand do you guys like? Derwent. Is the Derwent. I think they have that at the Blick store, Carter. The last few times I've been at Dick Blick, our local Blick store, I've been like, ooh, I want that. Okay, this test I'm doing right here is not just testing how these blend, but we're piling up a lot of layers and I haven't tried this many layers with these pencils yet. Um, some pencils do awesome blends when you're just doing a couple layers, but when you start pushing them to do like six or nine layers, which is what this is going to be in the end, they just sort of stop and they won't take any more layers. It feels like you're just sort of ice skating on top of them. And so I'm excited to see what this is going to do. Um, because when I was doing the, the layers you saw earlier, those were just two pencils doing just a couple layers and we were getting awesome blends. So here we're gonna test not just blending, but layering. This is the third layer right here. One layer here, two layers here, three layers here. So this rectangle is dedicated to that a three layer. Now we come in with the medium tone again. So now we've got four layers right here. And I still feel like we're getting somewhere. Where this paper is also printed on, no, this page is also printed on my good paper. Now it's starting to feel a little slippery. If we were working with Prismacolor or Polychromos, we wouldn't be feeling this slippery feeling. Now, um, I always feel bad comparing this league of pencil with a Polychromo or a Prismacolor or the Luminance, those ones, because um, it's just a different league. It's like comparing apples to oranges but they both do coloring and so we have to compare them. It's the world we're in, right? And you guys want to know. Um, so we're just asking about the pencils again, if they're creamy. Okay. They are very soft. Like I said, not as soft as a Prismacolor. So I would say it just a little bit harder core than a Prismacolor, but they are going down really surprisingly well. Haven't had a single tip break yet. She said that she's all the way in Australia. Whoa. You guys are at the end of summertime in Australia, I think. Okay, that turned out really pretty. Look at that. Really pretty. Um, towards the end, it was feeling a little slippery. So they don't layer as quite as well as 
your polychromos or your prismacolors. Um, but like I said, it's not very fair to um, be comparing these really high-end pencils to um, a pencil that is just made differently. So, but we are going to compare because that's what we do. Um, you want to know why we spend a ton of money to get polychromos and luminance pencils. It's because you can layer for ages with them. Um, but these blended beautifully, like you saw right here. Look at that beautiful blend we got. Nobody can complain about that blend. That would be a gorgeous sunrise type um, coloring page there or a petal on a flower. That's gorgeous. So that's beautiful. But I am trying to give you all the information I possibly can on these pencils. So um, layering is average with these. Blending is beautiful so far. Gorgeous blending. Now typically if we had time, we'd move on and do some odorless mineral spirits blending. We could do some white pencil overlay blending, um, and this would be with the colorless blender blending. So we have lots of different ways to test the pencils. We're not going to have time to do every single test that's on here, so I'm going to ask you guys what's most important to you. I think we want to do this test, although this is a really long, I don't know if we want to do this test. We do want to do this one though. Let's see what's visible on the black, um, the blue, yellow, and red. We definitely want to do this test to see if you color on a darker piece of paper. Yes, Carter? Um, so they asked. Yellow, blue, and red. Are there name colors or numbers in the pencil? No, like I said before, and in case you're just joining me now, that's one of the things that they don't have is there's no um, numbers or names on these pencils. That's all you get is, um, it says Soft Series, and it says Castle Art Supplies. And they know that this is a problem, and they are coming out with a new set of 100 pencils, and they will have numbers on them. So like I said, it's kind of cool that, that I've, that these this company is actually listening to our feedback. Um, have you ever tried to contact Prismacolor? <laughs> I have. You can't talk to hardly anyone. You can talk to someone that you know isn't really ever going to listen to what you're saying. But these guys seem to be listening to what we're saying. That's pretty cool to me. So, um, yay! They're so, actually listening. So I'm just joining the stream, and they asked how much are these pencils, and how are they working? Good question. These pencils are $23 for the set of 72. And I think for um, the price range for this type of set, they are doing surprisingly well. Um, here I'm testing to see if they if the pigments show up when you color onto something black. So if you ever color on a colored piece of paper, um, you'll know if these are going to, to pop or if they're just going to kind of fall flat. So there's that. Let me move it in the light so you can see. And you can actually see that blue. That's pretty, that's pretty good. Um, I haven't seen too many pencils that the blue will actually show up. That's impressive. Okay, do they have an opinion of what they'd like to see? Would they like to see the with some odorless mineral spirits? Would they like yep. to? Is that what they were asking? Yeah. Odorless blending, <laughs> okay, let's do it. I've got a little bowl. Don't let me roll over your toes, Carter. Um, Rose is poking her head up again. I'll let you guys look at Rose while I'm digging into my drawer here. Because she's much cuter than just looking at plain paper. Huh, Rose? Okay, here we are. That's my tiny little set of Gamsol. I've got my blending stump, which needs to be cleaned off. So we need a little bit of sandpaper. Oh, she's fallen back to sleep, a little girl. She's such a good girl. Are they wax-based or oil-based? Wax-based, and they said that they um, had looked into oil base but decided wax would be the best. A lot of times it has to do with um, it has to do with money um, and then what can they get the best 
vivid colors and um, you know if they're trying to hit a certain price point um, then they have to pick you know because we've looked Steve and I have looked into doing our own line of pencils and stuff as well and there are a lot of choices you have to make and in the end we decided we didn't want to get into that business we'd let someone else do it and so um, I, I know why they've gone that route with the wax based but really oil is just another form of petroleum which is wax so all of it is petroleum based products anyway it's just another sort of form of it and the way it lays down is just a little bit differently it's all kind of the same thing when you really get down to the science of it right Carter you're in science mm -hmm. he's in school he should know <laughs> Um, I said, can anyone tell me what the ha hero pencils or any of them in different name Chinese pencils I'm referring to are really like? I haven't brought those ones in yet. They're in my wish list on my Amazon cart. So um, I've got like 20 or 30 different kinds of color pencils on my wish list in my Amazon cart. And I just sort of, I've, Lots of them I'm trying to contact their um, companies to get them in so I can, because I can't afford to bring them all in. Um, some of them I just buy them as I have budget for it. So um, we have a group called Coloring Pages Bliss on Facebook. It's a coloring group, a group page. And that is a fantastic place to ask these kinds of questions because a lot of these people in that group will have... Um, these pencils and they can answer how their experiences with them it's a really great resource and they're such a supportive group so I really encourage you to hop over there and join that group okay let's switch down all right so here this tiny little bottle which is running low now has my odorless mineral spirits or Gamzol is the brand so we're gonna put just a small amount because this stuff is pretty toxic, so I don't ever take out much more than a few drops into a little bowl or onto a little plate. That way there's not a lot of fumes being put out into the air. And then I seal this back up and I don't have to worry about it spilling or anything like that. Okay, this is a blending stump or just, yeah, blending stump. You clean off the edge. Basically, this is just pressed paper. And the Gamzol is going to break down the waxes and the um, um, the fillers of the pencil and leave behind just the pigment. And it's such a fantastic way to work with your color pencils. This works with any brand of color pencil that I've ever tried. Um, so it's a great way to um, blend. And you can use just medium to light pressure. So if you have hand issues, um, arthritis or other types of issues with your hands or wrists, it's a great way to use color pencils. Plus, usually you get the same look as marker when you do it this way. So I'm using blue and yellow. And what we should get in the middle is a nice green color right right Carter blue and yellow make green <laughs> <laughs> and so this is sort of a test of pigment for me although that's up for debate if you go read the <laughs> the big video I did um, but what I find is it'll break down all those waxes and we'll see if we can get a nice green when it's just the pigment left behind. We said that they just got the Guanghui or Hero uh -huh. set and they like them. Oh right. cool, good to know. And then Susan asked, um, Prisma as I bought a few and they seem very waxy slash greasy to me so I'm sure whether I should, whether I really like to invest in a large set. That's, they are very wax based, they are um, very soft, that's how they are designed, it's to be a very soft core. 
Um, if you don't like that kind of a soft core, you could try buying a few polychromos, Faber-Castell polychromos, and see if you like them. They are a more harder core, and they go down very silky, smooth, creamy type. They're more of a buttery, silky feel, where polychromos are more of a creamy feel. That's the best way I can describe it. These ones are feeling closer to a silky feel. These... Um, Castle Art Supplies, I would describe them more as a silky type feel as I'm coloring with them. How's that for a description, Carter? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're going to dip this tip into the Gamzol or the Odorless Mineral Spirits. You don't have to buy the name brand. And it soaks it up, and then we can just do small circles. And like I said, what it does is it breaks down the waxes and the fillers and it leaves behind the pigment and it kind of melts that pigment down into the valleys and texture of the paper. So if you don't like color pencil because it leaves behind all these white speckles that you see right here, then odorless mineral spirits might be your best friend because you end up with this really nice um, almost marker looking effect and you don't have to use a lot of pressure but odorless mineral spirits is a toxic um, it's like paint thinner kind of product and so you have to use it in a well ventilated area don't let your pets get to it I would never leave this bottle this bowl right here after using it i would wipe it and clean it out um, or i would be afraid our cat or our dog would come and lick that that would be so bad so this would never be just left here i would clean this really good okay there we got a beautiful green and you can see the difference here before odorless mineral spirits and after you get a beautiful blend and we got our green in the middle so that worked really good i'm really happy with that so like i said these blend beautifully i'm really impressed the only thing i've run into so far is they don't seem to layer as good as the prismacolor so all right looks like we still have a little more time so we can do a little bit more testing here and we haven't done any pencil sharpening yet and that's a biggie to see how these sharpen so, are there any other questions while I'm setting up to practice some sharpening, Carter? Um, not too many. Okay, good. Like the same person just said that they want a softer pencil, they only have Crayola. Yeah, Crayola is um, a really good starter pencil. There's nothing wrong with Crayola, um, but it's um, if you get a Prismacolor pencil and compare it to Crayola, there's no going back once you start into the artist quality pencils. So. Okay, we're going to use brown and we're going to do this core usage test because this is a great way to um, test and do some sharpening as well. So the first layer in this square, we're going to do light layer. And I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. Usually when I do this test, I'm pretty careful and consistent, but we're gonna go as fast as we can. What this shows is like if you have a soft core pencil like a Prismacolor, um, when you color and lay that down, you use up the core really fast. Um, so you end up sharpening a lot more and people feel like you use up the pencil faster. If you have a harder core pencil like a Polychromo or even a Crayola, um, your pencils feel like they last longer. Okay. There is the first light layer. I'll go over it, make sure I feel like I got the whole thing. Good, and then I'll show you, whoa, 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 right there. Okay, you can see how much of the core I used to get that light layer. Okay, now we're gonna go over it again, this time with medium pressure. And we'll see how much more of that core we use. And I'm going all kinds of outside of the lines, Carter. Carter's been enjoying his um, Saturday. 
He's just been playing his computer like crazy. When we go online, he has to go off his online computer games. Okay, I'm just all sorts of messy. Sorry about that, everybody. Okay, that's the medium pressure. Okay, now you can see how much of the core is left. So what I try to do is all three layers without sharpening once. That's kind of the the test. Can we do all three layers without sharpening? Okay, now the heavy pressure. This one's the one that always wears my hand out. But let's see if we can go over the whole square without needing to sharpen. This time using heavy pressure. This layer is called the burnishing layer. If you've ever heard that word burnishing, that's what I'm doing right now. Basically what happens during this layer is you're squashing all the texture of the paper flat and forcing the waxes and the pigment down into the paper and hopefully what you would end up with is a nice solid color. Um, this is the, the most laborious, <laughs> laborious or laborious, Carter? <laughs> This is the hardest part of color pencil, is this kind of coloring. That's why I prefer to use something like um, odorless mineral spirits or oh anything other than doing this kind of work. This is terrible. This wears out my hand. They're saying that for sure you should get some of the scripts, whatever, <laughs> farming. <laughs> Okay. They're almost exactly like Prisma colors. Oh, that's exciting to hear. All right. I've almost been able to make it through the whole square three times without sharpening, which is pretty cool. That shows you how far you can go, although you would never do that because a sharp tip on a pencil is so much easier to color with than what I'm doing right now. <laughs> okay, let's show you what I'm left with. Look at that, Carter. <laughs> I'm left with a nice little stump. Okay, but the great thing about what we've just accomplished is now we can sharpen it from this stump. Um, we can try sharpening it and see how this pencil sharpens. So let's do that. Okay. So this is my brass bullet sharpener, but we're not going to use this one. We're going to use my Coom sharpener, which is the one that I always use for my pencil reviews. Um, just to stay consistent from pencil review to pencil review. And remember the way, the correct way to sharpen a color pencil with um, this type of sharpener is to hold the pencil still and rotate the sharpener around the pencil. Um, you could do that either by holding it this way or the other way. But whichever way you do it, you hold the pencil still and move the sharpener around the pencil. Hi, Steve. Hello. They were all asking about what kind of salad we get. Um, they're saying that... Um, they said that this sounds like spear, this whatever farvin. <laughs> oh, that's how you pronounce it? <laughs> they're, they're recommending a certain kind of pencil, and it's. I was trying to pronounce it too, and we couldn't figure it out. <laughs> And so they just got the Black Widow sets, and so far I've been enjoying them. Oh, cool. Yeah, I told them that it was on its way. I'm excited about those. Okay, we're getting there. This this wood is very different. She was telling us about this wood in her message. Um, it's very thin. Okay. I'll have to sharpen one of the polychromos so you guys can see the difference in the wood. But it's very different. And 
I don't know what to say here. Okay, there. I, I want to make sure we can get it to a really good point. Which we did. Look at that. We got a beautiful point. Okay, so that's one thing people always ask. Can you sharpen it to a good point? Which um, I would say, yes, you certainly can. And it sharpened wonderfully. That wood is really nice, but it's very different wood. It's very light and fluffy wood. <laughs> fluffy is probably the best word I can use for that wood, but look at all the um, core that's there. That's very interesting to me. Okay, let me sharpen... Um, since I have my polychromos handy, I will sharpen a polychromo so you can see the difference in the wood. Let me see if I can find one that needs sharpening here. I just have a small set of 12 sitting here by me. Well, this one kind of needs sharpening. It's a little dull. So we'll do the same thing here. And... Oh! Pff. Gotta hold on to the pencil sharpener, right? It got really quiet in here all of a sudden. Okay, and um, now you'll be able to see the difference in the wood. Makes me wonder what kind of wood. I, th I think it says on the box. I'll have to look that up. But it's a very different wood. It's so interesting. <laughs> she was very specific about this wood. It was that bass wood. Okay, see there we got a, a beautiful um, point on that polychromos pencil. And now you can see, unfortunately I didn't need to sharpen it quite as much as the other one, so there's only a little bit of wood here, but look how different that wood is. Very different, very interesting. Okay, and there you can see the difference in the shavings of the core between the um, polychromos green and here is the castle art supplies brown very interesting i don't know if you guys think that's as interesting as i do <laughs> this kind of thing really fascinates me because i really want to understand what makes a difference between um a really high-end artist quality pencil you know why do they get off charging so high compared to a different brand and so that's why I like to look so closely at things like this so it's very interesting okay so I think we're going to write down a few answers here to on um, right here um, I haven't done the full color swatching yet so I'm not going to answer a question here um, this question here core usage was really good we got the full three layers on that brown square so I'm going to put excellent core usage. The feel of the core is really smooth. I'm going to put silky, um, not too soft. Sharpening notes is sharpened well. Layering and blending notes. So this was the only spot where I felt like I could tell there was a little, um, I don't know what the word is, I'm starting to get tired. Um, it didn't layer as good as I hoped, but it's blending beautifully. So that's the only place where I feel like there's a, a, a lacking in these pencils. Um, so it lacks um, layerability. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Layer ability, but excellent blending. Excellent <laughs> blending. Oh dear, we're getting tired. Okay, erasing notes. I would say it was average erasing. Unique features. Um, I, there's nothing super unique about these pencils other than I'm just surprised at how good they're doing at this price point. Um, so I'm just going to leave that blank because there's nothing super unique. Um, yeah, I'm I'm just really surprised. So they are $23 for all 72. If you want to purchase these or check them out, there is a link um, in the 
the description of this video that you can follow and it will take you to Amazon and you can check it out. And like I said, they're available Amazon UK and Amazon USA. And um, make sure you give them our feedback because um, if they are going to um, keep doing what they say they're doing and follow our feedback, then maybe we can get some more specialized products for what we like. And that would be awesome. Now they are having a new set of 100 color pencils coming out. Uh, I don't know when, but in the future. And they will have numbers on them to help us track um, what color is what number, which is going to be really helpful. For me, what I usually do for pencils like this when they come unnumbered or unnamed, I'll usually either write a number on them and then that's how I will correspond that to my swatch chart. Um, where these are black, that's going to be a little troublesome. I can either use some white paint or I could put a piece of washi tape around it, a uh, light colored washi tape, and then write the number on it. That would work too. So I'll have to think about that and decide how I want to number these so that I can keep using them because I think they're kind of nice. Um, the trays are hard to get in and out of the tin. Now I might just put a piece of ribbon or something on the bottom side with a little bit of glue and then I'll have that piece of ribbon come up and around and then I can just lift it out with the ribbon. That would solve that problem, no, no worries. So that's an easy fix for that problem. So you could do the same thing with your pencils. So 23 bucks, you get 72 really good pencils. They're definitely average to above average in my opinion for those pencils. So um, I just want to thank Castle Art Supplies for giving me this opportunity to check out their pencils and their gel pens. Like I said, I'm always really honest with you guys about how I feel about products. I don't ever want to give you guys um, my opinion and you not trust it. So um, I try to always be very upfront with you. Um, they did send these to me, but they know that I would be honest with you. So that's always the deal. When companies send me something, I always tell them that I'm going to be honest. So they know that. So you can trust me. So I hope you enjoyed this two camera thing. I think it worked out pretty good. It seems like YouTube didn't drop us during the live stream. That worked really good. I am sitting here alone. My men are downstairs probably eating their food. So the chat is too far away for me to even look at it. I apologize about that. Hopefully there haven't been too many last minute questions. Um, if there are, remember the comments on YouTube videos get deleted. Terrible. I hate that they do that. So if there was a question that I missed here towards the end of this video, just um, come back and re-comment once this video has been uploaded permanently and you those comments will stay forever and I can answer those questions there or come on over to our group our coloring pages bliss group and ask your questions to the full group because there are some really talented amazing colorists there that can help you out with your questions too this has been super fun. We have a live event scheduled this Wednesday on Facebook. So if you want to join us for another live event, you can come and join us there. As soon as we get our those color pencils from um, the other company, the Black Widow pencils, we'll be doing a review just like this for them. So you can watch out for that. I also have oh, I don't know, maybe two dozen other brands of color pencils that I think will be doing similar reviews like this so that we can get through them. I was trying to do pre-recorded reviews where I did a whole bunch of video editing and adding lots of music and time lapses and things like that. And it just takes too many hours of editing. And so I think these live reviews are going to be the way to do it so we can get through them and you guys can see my impressions of these products. So this was a lot of fun. I think it was a good way to do it. Uh, like I said, sorry that I don't have anybody here to read the chat right now, but that's okay. I think we had a good time. So um, you guys are fantastic. Thanks again for everything. Um, Rose says bye. Say bye, Rose. Say bye-bye. <laughs> and thanks again, Castle Art Supplies, for the products. That was fantastic. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.